Oh, is ev is everything working okay? Let me know if 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 it is. It seems to be displaying a bit weird on my screen, but light rays is in, as is Sean. VJ is in a modern thank you, VJ, from an unusually beautiful and sunny Watford. It's uh it's a sunny Grimsby as well for now, so we're uh, matching up there. Uh Carl is in, said hi Holly. Gazman is in, as is Mike, Edward, and Toby. Good to see all of you. Um Hopefully, we will hear from Postacoglu pretty soon in terms of that update that I need for my team anyway on uh, Richarlison. But obviously, there's going to be quite a lot of um, other updates from elsewhere as well. So plenty to keep an eye on this afternoon. Uh, let's get the stream up to 100 likes, first of all. I think there's about 60 of you in. Hopefully not going to be as busy as last week where the injury news was just chaotic. Sean is in, as is Bill and Jermaine, Neil and Fremi. Um, let's open the tweet deck then, see what we've got going on. Because we normally get a video drop from Spurs not long after one o'clock with the uh, team news. It looks like Gary O'Neill is in at Wolves for his presser. Just also need to check that I've not missed anything as well. It all looks... Uh, quiet at the moment so what I might do while we're waiting for all that is go through everything that we've got so far so we did hear from Eddie Howe earlier that was the first press conference of the day uh, Trippier minor injury keeps him out of the next two hopefully back after the break um, Pope not back yet in the next month though um, we had this situation with Pal Torres another one in my team uh, played for the first 45 minutes in Europe. Um, the plan was to play him for 45 minutes. So hopefully by the time I need him in 29, he's fit enough to play the full full 90 or at least 60. And um, we saw Canate come off in the um, Europa League for Liverpool. Uh, Jay Gomez is fine. Um We'll hear from Klopp later, though, of course. The update from Chelsea Presser yesterday, Conor Gallagher, uh, probably a late fitness test. Uh, Solanke expected to be fine uh, after his knee issues last week. Um, but we did see Chilwell and Colwell are added to the Chelsea injury list. Chilwell's only been back and he's gone again. Uh, it's, it's a bit crazy. Um, this is what we had from... Um, Arteta yesterday, got some players back last Monday, Partey, and then we had Gabriel Martinelli foot and Bakai Saka illness with little issues, but we're positive that they can be part of it. So I don't think we need to worry as much about um, Saka. Uh, update from um, Sean Dyche, Everton, Garner, unlikely, got a chance. Deli Alli continues to make progress, not you there yet. Got that one safe twice. Uh, interestingly, David Raya kind of gone under the radar. Can't play against Brentford this week, so it should be Aaron Ramsdale in goal. I think he kept a clean sheet in a reverse fixture. Sinjenko, Tommy Assi could also be close. Uh, and Bermo back in training for Brentford as well, and it shouldn't be too far away. So quite a lot to um, consider there. I can see there's a few of you dropping in saying what um, injury news you're looking at today. Um, Senesi, I think, I think I've seen something about a month for him, but we'll we'll look soon. We've already got an update from uh, Wolves. Hang on. He Chang Wang could be sidelined for up to six weeks. Rolling the leader scorer out until next month. Similar time frame for Kuna. So that's a big loss um, from last week. Um, Spurs news is on the website from Harry. I've just seen your tweet as well. Uh, let's load this up. Team news, Poro update. 
Go away, cookies. We want the article. Paro is back and available for Sunday's away trip to Villa. That is good news if you've held him. From last week, everyone got through okay and are available. No fresh injury concerns that leaves Richarlison, Fraser, Sess and Solomon as long-term absentees. That doesn't sound great for me holding Richarlison, does it? Thank you for that, Harry. Thanks for joining us as well. You're doing it for me, Harry. Yeah, so Richarlison's still out. Be interested to see what Postacoglu actually says in his press conference because I am obviously looking for that um, timeline for his return. I feel like, did I miss some quotes from the uh, Wolves presser? I think Liam puts all of it in his thread. I think maybe he's a bit behind. Haven't seen a Neto update yet, but it should be coming any moment. Again, I might check the website. We had a quite a bit of luck with uh, checking websites last week. I think like certain press conferences are embargoed. I don't quite know how it works. No, nothing on there. Let's see. No. So we'll, we'll stick with the tweet deck, see what is... Uh, going on there's nothing on there for two minutes so we'll just give it a refresh and check that everything is working have we got the stream up to 100 likes yet 53 come on guys you can do better than that we need to get to 100 likes if nothing else akram says no solanke is very dangerous shall i put it to a poll uh, am I crazy to go without Solanke? Yes or no? So Ali Reza is looking for updates on Sunessi and I think we'll hear from Irola later. But um, in terms of exact quotes, I have seen that something about it could be a month. Let's listen to Poster Coglu. Sunday, uh, we're going to start with team news. Everyone will be looking for an update on, on Pedro Porro. How, how is he? Yeah, um, sort of um, from last week. Or before, uh, I was just checking there's not like a proper quote on Richarlison. And thanks for joining us. Yeah, not great there then. <laughs> Maybe you'll... This is obviously his pre-recorded bit. He is talking to the, the actual press now. So we might get a, a little bit of something else coming in as well. Um, Bourbon is joining us from Rhode Island. Very nice. Uh, Mark is in a sunny Gatwick. Uh, Fremmy. I seem to have lost your question already. Come on, Holt. I have two free transfers. Don't have Maurice Solanke, Barkley, Bowen. News on Pedro Neto. News on Pedro Neto should be coming any minute. Um, Sa and Neto both fine. There we go, right on cue. Both train really well and will be in the squad tomorrow. So that's a good one. In terms of... Solanke is the key one for the double game week. Let's be honest because he's going to be hugely captained. It depends on your strategy for 29, if you're free hitting or not, in terms of transfers for this week. It is very team dependent, I'm afraid. Rich is sold Haaland and De Bruyne. I think a lot will be selling, definitely De Bruyne. Maybe not so much Haaland. I mean, Haaland captain is going to be a big differential. There's not been loads of transfers yet. Luton News is coming up at 1.30, so I'll just refresh you on the times. So Spurs, Wolves, Crystal Palace, all going on now. We've had quotes from Wolves. Uh, we've had a little bit from Spurs, should be some more coming. Palace, I think we've got uh, now. And then, yeah, 1.30, we've got Bournemouth, Luton, um, and a whole host of others. 
No Franca for Palace tomorrow, which Schluck trained today, but won't be available to face Luton either. Palace have got a, a few injuries still, haven't they? Few in the defence. Should help my Luton players. Uh, no Arsenal update today, but I don't think the kind of Saka flag is something to be concerned about. Baid says, any news on Adebayo? I've been holding him for so long as my eighth attacker, but we'll swap for Morris this week. If I, yeah, you've been unlucky. I nearly did the same, but nearly bought Adebayo in 24 when I wild carded. Um, yeah, Luton update at 1.30. Hussein said, is Saka sick with Corona? I've no idea. But it doesn't, even if it is, it doesn't mean that he, he, he'd miss out. Yeah, Carlos has said Senesi is out for five weeks. Argentina already called a replacement. I don't, I've definitely seen something on Twitter. I think I maybe just forgot to... Uh, Bookmark it. There you go. We'll leave the tweet deck open because I think there's a lot going on at the moment. Marsway, should I captain Solanke? Yeah, I think if you own him, then you've got to go with it. Pape Sar's got a bit of a back issue. Any updates on Liverpool? That'll be 1.30. Fremi, when is the international break? After the blank. So we've got this weekend is game week 28. Game week 29 is the blank with just four fixtures. You're only just finding about that now. Ideal for free here if you've got it. And then, yeah, there's a, a two weeks after that to um, game week 30. Mo says, is Emerson really out? I think we'll hear later. We'll have to wait. I think it's I think it's one thirty that one. I oh, know it is two o'clock. Well, I'll try and get the information for you. John says, who is the best defender game week twenty eight to thirty that doesn't play for Luton or Bournemouth? Right, let's have a look at the uh, points predictions on Fancy Football Hub for this. Um, you can get access to this, by the way, guys, if you're a Hub member. Uh, you can get a seven-day free trial. I think the link is in the uh, chat um, and the description. So, defenders for game week 28 to 30. Alex Moreno, top of the list. Yeah, basically Villa defenders and Spurs defenders and then West Ham. In that order. Hopefully that helps you. That was quick, wasn't it? Yeah, just relaying that Sarah and Neto are fine. I don't think we missed anything else. Seventy-one percent says say it's crazy to go without Solanke. I thought it was going to be worse than that. To be fair, I think it, for the, for those of us that are not free hitting in twenty nine, it is really difficult to justify. I think there's enough question marks there. Is anyone going for triple captain Solanke? Anyone that's still got the triple captain chip? Because I. I don't really like that. I just don't feel like there's enough there. Hussein, should I bench Haaland and get Bowen in? Haaland scored in a reverse fixture against Liverpool. Uh, Dawson with a sore groin. Toby says, would you free hit? I can get seven players for free next week. I think... I think that feels like a um, free hit at that point. 
Yeah, there's a few going for it, the triple captain. I've got a goalkeeper, Doughty, Regulon, Pow, maybe Richarlison, Barkley, Watkins, Tony. So I've got eight and I've still got two transfers. So I think uh, when you get into... Uh, I think eight minimum is what you need for 29. Certainly you need that core of Tony, Watkins... Um, Son, another Spurs midfielder and a Bowen, and then a couple of defenders and goalkeeper. That should see you through. Any less than that, I think it is free hit territory. But you don't have to free hit. You could wild card this week and set yourself up for 29. I've already played the wild card early, though, and it didn't really feel like um, it was the best strategy. Richarlison has still not trained. Ideally, I need to see Richarlison back in training on Monday. Daniel says, hey, Holly, all my transfers are delayed until your intel. This is... This is the thing, Friday afternoons after the press conferences, that is the best time to make your transfers. I mean, we do tend to get a bit of news on a Saturday morning, so you can always wait for them, but you don't want to be going blind. So it's United Everton is the early kickoff on Saturday. And it says Foden to Barkley or Bowen this week, need the player till game week 31 wildcard, I'll just get Bowen. I mean, I can, we can look at um, midfielders in that same window. Yeah, 28 to 30. Bowen's 16.3 predicted points to Barclays 14.6. So that should uh, make your decision there. Marcus says, hi, Holly. What do you think of Powell's minutes moving forward? I would like to see him play over 60 minutes this week, going into the blank. Yeah, Sackett's flagged because he was... I think he's been ill in midweek. But I think he'll be fine. I don't know if Arsenal have... Uh, tweeted anything. Not about him or whether there's been any pictures in training or whatever. I don't think we need... Yeah, if this is from inside training. I don't think you need to worry about Saka. Partey there, look. Can we see Saka there anywhere? Those goals are tiny. Let me know, anyone, if you've seen Saka on this video. Where is he? This is training pictures from yesterday. Maybe he has missed training at some point. When do Arsenal play? Tomorrow. Oh, it's 25 pictures here, look. Surely he's somewhere. Maybe he has missed training with illness then. Oh, that's Anketia. I think, had he picked up, like, a bit of a... a, a knock as well? Oh, he was substituted due to illness. We're really we're pretty positive that hopefully they can be part of that, but we'll see. 
you just never know with um with our tatty you just can't trust him oh, he was feeling unwell during the game and was drawn to give him a rest he was feeling sick But I don't think it changes anything. Like, a lot of people have got a lot of money tied up in Saka. He's like a long-term hold, isn't he? So, yeah. We don't know exactly. Right, I got a bit distracted there. I've abandoned the sweet deck. I don't think we've missed anything now there's a lot coming up though at 1 30 so i'm gonna have to stay on it <laughs> so we've got um bournemouth it's obviously important for the double brentford burnley fulham liverpool luton important for the double city united and forest uh, if you are in anywhere enjoying the stream there's nearly there's over 400 of you. We've got to 100 likes. Let's see if we can get to um, 200. Stephen says, Poro is available. Will he start or bench? I don't know. I don't think he's a player that you maybe need to start this week, though. Sean says, oh my God, internet down. What have I missed? Not too much so far. I think uh, we're a bit quieter than normal. Mo Osama said, I bought Chong. Fingers crossed. Bold move. Alex says he needs an update on Adebaye. That's going to come um, in the next half an hour. Patrick says, is Powell likely to play? I th yeah, I think he'll start, but I wouldn't... I mean, that's, that fixture just screams goals to me. I can't see a clean sheet for Spurs or Villa. Fremi says, if I don't free hit, who to get, Barkley or Kudos? I can't get to Bowen. Yeah, I think at that point, Barkley's okay. There's, I mean, there's Bailey, there's Douglas Louise. Kulu, you know, there's options there. Ilanga, <laughs> I don't think I'll, uh, I'd recommend that one. Get your clay. Should I triple captain Solanke? I think this one, I think a lot depends on, you, you've got to go with your gut on that. I don't think you can go in for a triple captain without completely owning it and feeling like it's the right thing for you to do. I don't want to sway people either way. Um, I think even if I owned Solanke this week, I think I would wait for another opportunity. All these blanks in um, 29 could spell doubles later in the season. I just think with the little, the knee thing just puts me off. He's not been in red hot form in the last few game weeks. The Baden says, should I triple captain Haaland? Yeah, but not this week. Home, home of FPL says, would prefer triple captaining Palmer or Salah if possible. Yeah, got to agree with you there. Mark, I was triple captain to Lanky, but not so sure at the moment. Salah captain if fit. Yeah. Saving triple captain for 34 or 37, says the legend of Renegade. Yeah, I'm in that camp as well. Drawing. Should I go Gross or Foden to Bowen? No free hit. Um, Gross has been in great form. So has Foden, though. I think Gross to Bowen. Toby. Save my triple captain 50-50 on Solanke. Not much change for Luton. Amari Bell is a lengthy hamstring. 
Joe Stonston glandular fever. Is that going to be on the Luton website then? Let's have a look. News makes news. No, not at the moment. Don't know where Ben's getting that from then, unless he's watching it or listening to it. Definitely lost my place in the chat again. Mark, thoughts? Only chip left is triple captain. Morris in for Harlan for a minus four. Uh, I don't think it's worth it. Uh, Scott is in. He said, good morning from Lexington, Kentucky. Good to see you. And Simon is in. Sorry a bit late. Just had to take a hit in my F1 team. Fantasy F1. Interesting. Is it as good as FPL? I don't, I've not really dabbled with uh, fantasy games in other sports, I'll be honest. Ollie says, which game week are you saving your free hit for? Probably, I don't know, it depends how the fixtures land. One of 34 or 37, I'll uh, do a uh, triple captain in the other. Hattrick says, am I mad to go for Munez over Tony for 29? Uh, no. Especially if you've if that's your route to Salah, I think that's absolutely fine. Uh, no name wants to know who to bench out of Morris, Solanke, Watkins, Odegaard, Palmer, Son, Foden, Bowen. Um, that oh, I don't know. <laughs> Foden. Bowen? It's got to be one of them. <laughs> I don't know. It's really tough, though, that one. I don't envy you. Lots of questions on Emerson. That press is coming up at two o'clock. We've got a load of presses coming up now, though. So keep your eyes peeled. We've got City, we've got Liverpool, we've got Bournemouth, uh, Luton. Khalid, thoughts on buying Chong over Barkley? They're both punts, so yeah, if you fancy it, go with it. Dale sold Saka for Bowen. Am I crazy? Mm, could be an opportunity there, but I think providing Saka's okay, I think he'll do well against Brentford. Yeah, we just had the update on Bell, Clive. He, um, long-term hamstring injury. Mohammed said thoughts on captaining M uh, Morris. Um, I think other than Solanke is the only real one of the double game week assets that I think is really attractive as a caption pick. As a, what did I say there? Caption pick. Captain pick. Pragzan says hopefully Salah starts on Sunday. I think he will. He has to in that game, surely. Um, mush, m <laughs> sorry, my pronunciation today is awful. Matassin, Kerkes or Smith? Already got Zebani. I probably wouldn't double up. Just leave it at that. Home of FPL, trying to access your athletic football list but getting errors. Yeah, I think it might. I... Is it private, that one? Don't think so. I don't, I don't know how I got it, though. Obviously, I work for The Athletic, so I think I'll probably have got a... Um, a link at some point. Rashford and Evans are fit for United. Uh, Harry asked, 
on trip here. Do you think he's saying a doubt for 30 so he doesn't have to go on internationals? Yeah, could be a bit of that. This is the thing. You have to take some of this injury news with the pinch of salt at the moment. I think that's what we're getting with Richarlison as well, if I'm honest. That he's trying to say, oh, you know, I'm going to be back, say that he gets his call up for Brazil, which will be right on the cusp of the official re return to play. Mr. F, brought in Morris and Neto for a minus four, going free hit. Would you bench Foden or Gordon? I think I'd bench Gordon. Sold Haaland, feel like I have to start Foden to cover that, yeah. Stupid and Paro. Maybe punt on Paro now. <laughs> Pep's wish Trent a speedy recovery. Patrick says Har Harry is a Newcastle fan. I think he's a doubt. Yeah, I think it was pretty conclusive. The kind of rumours we got the other the other day about his time scale. Jason says last six games, Morris is well above Solanke in stats. Yeah, that's true. He's done. He's, he has been doing very well, but I think Luton as a side have been struggling, which always kind of dampens my appeal. Rice or Rich. difficult one that one rice has been quite heavily involved in set pieces in recent games hoyland maguire and wambisaka will be back for the fa cup confirms ten hag so i'm guessing that means they're out weekend for the everton game klopp doesn't know whether canate will be fit to face city Scribbles is in. Mark gone Chilwell to, to Zabani as Doughty away from not so good free hit 29. I think for me, I feel like Doughty is the best defender to be bar to to buy for this double, irrespective of next week. Mason Mount will be back after the international break. Fremi, seven players in 28, four defence, three attack, one free transfer. Should I free hit? Uh, yeah, I think so. With three attackers, yeah. Sam Lee, minus four, Neto to Dubravka and bench Martinez. Pope's going to be back in a month. Oh, Dubravka out for Neto for a hit. Bench Martinez, yeah, go for it if you fancy it. Simon's bench boosted this week. Three Bournemouth, three Luton and nearly a full side for 29. Might have cost a few minus balls. Play it your way, mate. I'm not loving the Chong uh, shout. I think I still prefer Barkley. Feel like he's on the cusp of a big score. He needs to be anyway. Joe Gomez is fine. Updates from Bournemouth. I haven't come through on my list from Jordan Clark. Sanessi ruled out until after the international break with a hamstring strain. Dominic Solanke hasn't trained fully this week, but a roller hopeful he can play. What do we think to that, guys? This is why... I'm not bringing, uh, not just blindly bringing in Solanke. What do we think to that? 
Are you worried about that, Solanke owners? I think, I, I mean, I could just be stirring the pot because I don't own him. <laughs> I don't want him to do well because he's not in my team. Sorry, I'm just trying to put that in a... a in a text box, but um, I'm going to have to change the font size. We'll, we'll squeeze it in eventually. There we go. Two fixtures in quick succession, obviously, for Bournemouth. It's not the... Uh, not the most positive of updates, is it? So I'm just trying to update the graphics so that you can see that on screen. If you think I'm not concentrating. I think that's enough for me to... to uh, Leave Solanke where he is. The only reason I would be buying Solanke this week is FOMO. So I think that comment is enough for me to be like, yeah, I'll go without. Are we? Are you worried, Solanke owners? Which is probably most of you. Grealish won't be fit. I don't think that's a big surprise, is it? There's definitely a flurry of information flying through. Just wanted to check that I've not missed uh, anything else. Company is in now by the sides of it. Osho is the only Luton player who could return from injury this week, which implies that Adebayo will miss out once again. Lots thinking maybe, maybe don't go Solanke now. Jamie says, not worried because most own him anyway. Yeah, I think it's just the triple captain that's in jeopardy of that comment from Aurelia. Uh, Coach Karan has said... Already transferred in Solanke for a minus four and activated my triple captain. Let's hope his knee holds up for both games. He played like 88 minutes, didn't he, last weekend? Carmax, please suggest. Senesi, Ake and Palmer out and in comes Salah, Kerkes and Mengi. No, don't love that at all. Roman, where do you get the press conference schedule? Um... Obviously, I know the producers at the Premier League and Sky, so I, I try and get it off them if I can. VJ says, let's get the stream up to 250 likes. We must be doing okay. We're at 165. Let's get it to 200. There's over 500 you in, which is amazing. And if you don't already subscribe to the channel, please do. Put a lot of work in to uh, grow the channel this season. So if, if you're not subscribed, then uh, show your support. Ken says, this is my favourite... Can't get my words out again. Favourite Friday stream. Thank you. Lewis, already took a minus four to get Zaberni and Cliver. Do I take another minus four to get Bowen and take out He Chang? Going to free hit. So be one week punt. I don't think it's worth it for a one week punt. Who, who have you got on your bench? Because He Chang's not going to be involved. Daniel, Solanke triple captain or save for Salah, I'd save. So just missing, making sure I'm not missing any member questions. 
Marcus Tavernier. Yeah, I think... I'm just not sure how nailed he is. He's involved in set pieces when he's on the pitch. I quite like um, Semenyo as a little bit of a differential. Yeah, I don't think we need to worry too much about the Saka illness. Again, it's something that kind of would affect ev everyone if we do get a surprise. We can't trust Arteta anyway. Checkmate, start Foden or Douglas Louise. Possibly Douglas Louise. Poro back for 29. Yeah, he's back for this week. Sarah, thinking of using a chip in 29, swap De Bruyne for Bowen and taking a minus four for Chong or a Villa player. De Bruyne for Bowen, um, sounds good. Or a Spurs midfielder. Uh, maybe an Aston Villa player. Uh, Jimenez back for Fulham next week and that will be a full complement of everyone available. He could be a nice differential. See anything with those that are looking at um, Munoz. Mr F, who to bench? Foden or Gordon? Uh, Gordon. A Stupinen or Porro? A Stupinen. Who of Mengi or Kabore will you prefer? Neither. It's down to your bust. Who do you reckon I bench him to feel? This is from Max. Douglas Louise, Foden, Saka, Bowen, Son. Sorry, I just got distracted by a van outside. Um, Foden? It's really difficult. Azaro is in from St. Kitts. Is it worth doing Turner to Neto for a minus four? If you're free hitting next week and going on gut feel, if you fancy it, go for it. I think, what was I looking at? I was looking, I wrote an article yesterday. Can't remember who for. I wrote quite a few. Um, Neto, he's got six clean sheets this season. He saved a penalty. And on five of the six occasions where he's kept a clean sheet, he's got bonus. Two bonus there. Two, no, two bonus there. A bonus there, two bonus there, one bonus, one bonus. If you look at um, goalkeepers for... I mean, six clean sheets is uh, pretty decent in its own right. There's only six keepers that have kept more clean sheets. I think there's six keepers that have made more saves than Neto and just one keeper that's got more bonus. I think Neto... I mean, Captain Neto could even pay off. He seemed to seem to have anecdotally uh, good um, good performances from goalkeepers in double game weeks. Certainly, like from the lower ranked teams. So Solanke will have to be assessed in a final training session ahead of this fixture. It's not great, is it? I mean, the fixtures are so kind. Does he need to risk him? Dom is in a similar position to this past week. He hasn't fully trained with the team. We're trying to put him in the best positions to play tomorrow. Hopefully he'll train normal this evening. With his feelings, we will take the decision much like we did last week. He's been playing through pain. Sometimes it's better, sometimes it's worse. We're trying to manage it. With these two games we have, we don't want to put too much training on him. I hope he can play as many minutes as he can, but it's something we're dealing with. That's interesting, that. That is interesting. I might tweet that one. Just give me a sec. Um, what else was I in the middle of doing? <laughs> All that FPL tweeted at the same time. Uh, 
not had any kind of tidbits, I don't think, from Klopp on Salah. Not that I was kind of expecting it. I feel like I was in the middle about of talking about something. Was it? Oh, no, it was Neto, wasn't it? Neto captain. I mean, you look at the predictions for this week. Obviously, Solanke in front, 10.8 predicted points. Neto is second on 8.2 predicted points. Then you've got you've also got Tavernier, Morris, Semenyo, Kirke, Smith. For me, yeah, Solanke's still in there. Neto's an option. Morris is an option, but so is Haaland. Shall I put a captain poll? Who is your captain this week? I'm not going to ask about triple captain at, at this stage. So Solanke, Luton and Sheffield United. I've just not my mic. Hopefully it's still working. Yeah, it is. Um, Morris v Crystal Palace and Bournemouth. Haaland and other there we go do your worst <laughs> I sure wish I'd asked earlier before these quotes because I bet it's uh, slightly different now <laughs> Simon said to the Tavernier looks like he's lacking confidence right now. I've got to agree there. Fremi says, who's going to double in 34? We don't know yet. Uh, you have to look at what um, Ben Krellin's put together a bit of like a, like all the options. We won't know till after the international break. and the probabilities and stuff. But yeah, go check Ben out on Twitter because all of his information is really great. Dunk or Paro? Um, dunk. What's the news about Maguire? I think, was it that he was going to be back for the cup game? Yeah. Back for the FA Cup. So that's next weekend, isn't it? Because that's where we've got the blanks. I forgot to put the uh, image on that tweet, didn't I? There we go. Right. Stick to the task in hand, Hal. Klopp's press is finished. Simon, thinking of doing Zanabi for Senesi and a minus four Tavernier for a Charles, and I'm not sure if that's worth it. Gareth says Salah now or wait till 30. Wait till 30. There's no guarantees he starts. Tough fixture against uh, City and then blanks. I think he will start, but it's just how sharp is he? 77% still on Solanke captain. 13% Morris. 6% other. 3% Haaland. Interesting. Paul, wild card or free hit this week? Uh, wild card. 
Have you looked at the fixtures for next week? John says Solanke's movement did look a bit laboured last week. Yeah, I agree with that. I think his underlying numbers were... A bit off, weren't they? One shot. Yeah, it was, it was last week in particular. You'll be able to see it on... Um... So Newcastle, he generated an XG of 2.23. And then against City, obviously it was City 0.31. But then Burnley away, 0.19. Some games he's just... He's just done turn up for it, has he? Daniel says you are totally stirring, but that's why intel is important. Um, I, I'm just going off the quotes. I, were, I wasn't actually expecting the quotes to be so bad <laughs> on Solanke. But yeah, I am a little bit invested in him not doing well because I'm going without him. Stephen, is there a status update on Alison's return? I don't know, actually. I thought it was after the break, but I could be wrong. You tell what I've been looking at when you get those ads, can't you? I did buy my daughter the, uh, the football can for her birthday. Very lucky in Liverpool. There we go. Uh, 14th. So yeah, mid mid April, so a bit bit longer than I uh, anticipated actually. So, how are we doing then? Oh great, I've lost me uh, lost me press conference times. Hang on. I'd love it if everything just worked one week. Let me try this. Right, there we go. So we've heard from Palace, Spurs and Wolves. We've heard from Bournemouth. Not seen anything from Brentford or Burnley, but I did see that um, company was in. Fulham we've heard from, Liverpool we've heard from, Luton, City, United, Forest. So it was Brentford, Brentford, Burnley and Forest were the ones from the 130s that we were waiting for. Uh, just had a super chat in from VJ, so I'll answer that before delving any deeper. So he's looking for a good keeper to alternate with Neto. So if we're looking at the fixture analyzer, we've got Bournemouth in there. Let's have a look at the uh, predictions as well. Long term. I'll look at Kaminsky, Leno, Sells, Fleck, and Areola. Right. Kaminsky, Leno, Sells, Areola was in there. Who else did I say I was going to look at? Flecken. Ideally, you want to choose a keeper that's going to gonna double later. So you kind of... Game week 23, I think we can rule out um, Kaminsky. Maybe Flecken, you know. I think that could work. They're, they're the two keepers that I've got. 
So you've got the double game week then. You've got Burnley away, Everton at home, Crystal Palace at home, Luton away, Sheffield United at home, Luton away again, Everton away or Brighton at home, Fulham at home, Brentford at home. It's just game week 38. I don't think that's bad. So there we go. Um, what was I looking at? Let me just check the tweet deck and then I'll... Um, Delve in to see if I can find any other injury news. So, who haven't we heard from? Brentford. See if there's anything on the website. No. Nope. Um, Forest. No, and what was the other one? I can't remember now. Burnley, wasn't it? No, <laughs> nothing there either. Yeah, I think Saka should be okay. We can't really trust um, Arteta that much. So we just need to go with it. But we're all in the same boat, aren't we, with that one? Shall we review everything we've got so far then? Jimenez back next week for Fulham. Grealish not involved in the top of the table clash. Gomez is fine. Canate, not, no idea. Waiting for a scan. Mason Mount will be back after the international break. Hoyland, Maguire and wan will be back next week end for the FA Cup. Rashford and Evans ready for tomorrow. Uh, Mari Bell is long -term hamstring issue. Joe Johnston with glandular fever. Poro is back for Spurs. Richarlison still hasn't tra trained. Dawson, late fitness check at Wolves. Pape Saar got a bit of a back issue, so that's one to monitor. Did I miss... I don't think I bookmarked the uh, the Bournemouth one, did I? After all that. Ben's got it here, hasn't he? Uh, yeah, so Solanke hasn't fully trained this week. Senesi has been ruled out until after the international break. With an injury. Where was I? Saranetto both fine at Wolves. He chan out for six weeks. Trippier back after the break. Pal Torres is being eased back slowly. Connor Gallagher late fitness test. Um, Chilwell and Colwell both back injured at Chelsea. A few little updates from Arsenal. David Rea can't play against Brentford. Yes, yeah, Sanessi confirmed out will not travel with the Argentina national team. So that was that one. Oh, we have got updates from Villa. Pau Torres is available for Sunday. Ramsey will train tomorrow and a decision will be made. McGinn is fine. Is there anything on the uh, Villa website? It was West Ham as well, was meant to be now. Live blog. What will do? An empty live blog. Maybe not. I don't think there's anything else on there. Yeah, Neto's fine. Oh, gosh. Goldstone saying, are you FPL Harry's girlfriend? No, I believe Harry's girlfriend is called um, Holly as well. Just a coincidence. I don't know if she's as good at FPL as me. I'm sure Harry can let us know. 
Harry's about 10 years younger than me. I think it would be inappropriate. Um, yeah, I think... I don't know if we're going to get anything else. <laughs> Harry's in the chat laughing. <laughs> I'm pleased you're still here, Harry. Yeah, I'm not sure what else is going to come through. If there's anything coming in on this uh, live blog. Toax wondering whether to do um, a minus four for another game, double game week player. Got Neto, Solanke, Morris, but I want to add one more. Yeah, Doughty probably for a minus four would be okay. I'm not buying anyone from Bournemouth. I'm going without Bournemouth players. Harland to Morris, not sure about that one. Mario had plans to triple captain him. That's on Solanke. A lot going off the triple captain Solanke now. Solanke played 90 minutes last week. He got reduced minutes to manage him over the two games. What confident he'll start both. Yeah, I think that's fair. But he's not, she wasn't sharp. That's my issue. Linda says, if I don't transfer in Solanke, it will 100% play. Yeah, it could be the case. It'll always work out the opposite um, to, to what we want from an FPL term, terms. Sorry, I'm just making sure I've not missed any any important questions. And lots of people stressing on Saka. I think you've just got to hope that he's fine. I think he should be. Lord Ollie, Captain Bowen or Ariola? Uh, Bowen. <laughs> I think I'd go Harland if I wasn't going for a double game week asset. Dr. David, should I go Salah this week or stick with Foden? I just stick with Foden. Five thousand, your man says. Pictures of Alison training. Are you sure? Have I changed my mind on Solanke? No. Just had it justified. Really. Right. I think I'm gonna uh, leave it there then, guys. I think we've covered most things it's been uh a bit more uh interesting than i thought it would oh i haven't made my transfer shall i make my transfer i'm uh what was i doing de bruyne to son let's do it let's get the team locked so this is my uh team for this week. Let's go there. Oh no, let, <laughs> gosh. Um, so I'm not buying any Bournemouth players. I've got triple Luton. I'm rolling a transfer to next week. Son has come in for De Bruyne. I'm gonna play, I think I'm gonna play Branthwaite, Powell, Regulon. Richarlison last on the bench. 
and maybe I'll just leave them at the start just in case you never know. I don't know how confident I feel, <laughs> I'll be honest, but this is a team rolling a transfer into next week where I'll probably get a play with a blank or two. Bowen, maybe. Madison, maybe. But yeah, the, that that's it for this week for me. It's not really a week that I'm attacking, but I think my team's in okay shape. Hopefully I get away with no Solanke. Sounds like it, it could work out in my favour, that one. Um... So yeah, thanks so much everyone for joining me today. If you've enjoyed the stream, leave a like, subscribe to the channel as well. Thanks as always for the support. Um, I'm away next week at a conference, so the upload schedule might be a little bit different to normal. Um, but I'll definitely uh, be back with this on Friday. And the experts team short will be dropping later as well. Thanks everyone for watching. Speak to you soon.